I wanted to show you one of the things that you can try if Windows is freezing when it first boots up. This will usually mean Windows freezes right at the logon screen because Windows boots and then it tries to load some services and then it freezes. So here's what you can do to, to try to fix it. First, you'll need to boot into safe mode. If your computer is failing to boot, Microsoft is usually gonna give you that as an option during the boot up process. If not, just do a Google search on how to boot into safe mode, it's not difficult. Um, but once you're in safe mode, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna press Windows R on your keyboard and you're gonna type MS config and press enter. Okay, that brings this screen up here. This is the system configuration window. You're gonna to go to the services tab. You're gonna hide all Microsoft services using the checkbox at the bottom here. What that does is it hides all the services that are Microsoft and leaves all the ones that are not. Usually if Windows is failing to boot, it is a non-Microsoft service that is causing that. So we want to deal with these ones, okay? So these are all the non-Microsoft services. We're gonna click disable all. What that means now is when you reboot, only Microsoft services are going to start up. All these non-Microsoft services will not start up, okay? You click apply and then you'll reboot, okay? After, if, you're, if your computer boots successfully, then you know it was a non-Microsoft service causing the freeze. And then what you need to do is basically go in here and start re-enabling services just a few at a time and then reboot every time, right? So I might enable maybe the top few here and then I'll reboot and if I boot up, I know those ones are safe. Then I'll go do a few more. I'll reboot. If the computer boots up, I know those ones are safe. And when you get to one that causes the hang, then you know what service it was. Get rid of that service and you should be good to go.